The CP1 is our first in-house designed and EN166B certified goggle specifically designed for Airsoft. A lot of time and long test phases flowed into the goggle to optimize them down to the last detail. The result is a safety goggle concept that leaves nothing to be desired. Each CP1 goggles is delivered in a black cardboard box, which includes the goggles in a fabric pouch, spare parts and accessories, an instruction manual, and the helmet mount. The spare parts set includes the helmet mount and the interchangeable foam padding. The black fabric pouch, with a convenient handle strap, contains the CP1 goggles with pre-assembled headband. Here, you can clearly see the cutouts for eyeglass arms, as well as the six neodymium magnets for attaching the protective shields. The CP1 goggles are available in three different frame colors, tan, olive, and black. Upon delivery, the lenses of the protective shields are covered with a yellow protective film on the inside, which must be removed before use. To do this, a pointed object such as tweezers is suitable. When removing it, make sure not to peel off the black dual layer made of cellulose with a black rim, but only the yellow film. Features Silicone straps on the headband for a secure fit. Neodymium magnets for shield attachment. Closed cell foam padding. Cutouts in the frame and padding for better comfort with prescription glasses. The CP1 goggles are available in two different designs. The regular lens is suitable for all applications. The larger RX lens is designed for eyeglass wearers to use with prescription glasses. Both lens designs are also optionally available in a smoke version. All lenses are tested and certified according to EN166B by a German institute. Here you can see the dual-layer lens, which greatly reduces fogging. The comparison between the clear version and the dark one. This is the RX version, for wearers of prescription glasses. It can be worn with almost any other glasses. The RX version also has the anti-fog dual-layer lens, of course. Naturally, this type of lens is also available in both colors. The frame is also tested and certified according to EN166B. To replace the lenses, hold the frame with both hands and pull it apart with equal force. This will release the lenses from their anchor points. The frame engages and locks into this dovetail joint. Starting at the bridge of the nose, insert the lens into the frame and follow the shape of the frame from bottom to top. Once the lens is fully enclosed by the frame, you can press the frame onto the lens so that it snaps into the dovetail joint. Here we see the goggles, the headband, the helmet mount, and the locking pins. The straps are mounted in these cutouts, the goggles come pre-assembled with the headband. The headband has a silicone profile on the inside to prevent slipping. At each end, there is a passage for the locking pins, and in the middle, there are two adjustment buckles for length adjustment. To install the headband, thread it from the outside, with the silicone structure facing up, through the cutout of the goggles. If necessary, you can use suitable tools to assist. Insert the locking pin through the passage and repeat the steps on the other side.
Now, you can flip the band to the back. The band is now fully assembled. To release, pull out the locking pin from the passage, using suitable tools if necessary, and remove the straps. As an alternative to the headband, the goggles set also includes a mount for Bugatti Fast Helmets. It is installed in the same way as the headband, ensuring that the front side of the closure faces the lens. Now, the two clips need to be inserted into the helmet's attachment socket. To adjust the strap length, put on the helmet and adjust the goggles strap so that the goggles fit securely and comfortably. The goggles can now be used with the helmet. If the foam is damaged, heavily soiled, or shows signs of wear, it can be replaced with the foam included in the package. First, the old foam needs to be mechanically removed, which requires some force. You can also use a knife to carefully assist in the process. Be careful not to damage the frame. Next, remove any adhesive residue using a solvent. Once all residues are removed and the frame is free from grease and dust, the new padding can be glued in place. Part of the extensive CP1 accessories is also an RX adapter. The adapter has flexible arms on the top and bottom, which align and secure the adapter. The adapter functions as a glasses frame, and you will need to have a suitable corrective insert made by your trusted optician. After being adjusted by your optician, the adapter is clicked into the frame as shown here. Another optional accessory is the protective shields available in two sizes and three colors. The package includes two bags of small parts and the shield itself. Each shield features multiple ventilation openings for optimal comfort. On the top, there are six neodymium magnets used for quick mounting on the glasses. One of the bags contains the securing cord with a clamp buckle. You can conveniently adjust the length of the cord using the clamp buckle. The other bag contains four stainless steel screws and nuts required for the permanent fixation of the shield to the glasses. Thread the cord through the designated opening and secure it with a knot. The shield is now ready for use. The shield can be easily mounted and removed with a single hand movement, and if necessary, it can also be securely fastened with screws. Here you can see the four recesses for the screw nuts. To facilitate the installation, it is recommended to remove the attachments, such as strap, lens, etc., to gain access to the screws. Once everything is disassembled, you can see the openings for the four screws inside the frame. Each shield includes the necessary nuts and screws for the installation. First, insert the nut into the recess in the shield. Hold the nut in place and insert the screw from above through the frame, then tighten it with the nut. Repeat the process until all the screws are installed. Now you can reassemble the accessories, but keep in mind that the lower frame is less flexible due to the shield.
optional, an adapter for action cameras is also available. Included in the package are all the necessary screws for mounting. An extended headband is also included, which is mounted additionally to better support the extra weight of the camera. And a mounting adapter that is compatible with the widely used GoPro standard. On the underside, you can see the four openings for the screws. The honeycomb patterned perforated adapter blocks only a few ventilation openings and does not significantly affect comfort. Place the adapter onto the CP1 and hold it in place while turning the goggles upside down. Hand tighten the adapter to the goggles. Repeat this process with all four screws. Now you have a secure connection between the adapter and the frame. You can now insert the nut and screw to attach the action camera. Finally, attach the extended headband, which is adjustable in length, as shown in the video.